Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm the Emperor and we're playing Crusader Kings 3 as a clan government. I'm personally learning that myself and I'm trying to teach it. We're playing over on Twitch. So this is a recording from a live stream. Go check out the Twitch subscriber there if you haven't already. And come ask your questions. You can leave them in the comments as well. But if you really want something live, then absolutely join us. We stream twice a week for Crusader Kings and three times a week overall. Go check that out. Right. So we just died. And we are now a seven-year-old ruler in the Iranian intermezzo down here as a clown ruler. And I'm still trying to figure out how to be strong. Our current goal at the moment was to gain a crown. Like, we want to be a king. And the kingdom of Dailam is the closest that we got. So if we click down here on the kingdom titles view, we can see all the kingdoms that exist or do not exist yet. You can tell the ones that do not exist by the fact that they're slightly transparent and they have a little red outline, whereas the ones that are built that exist are fully visible and have no outline whatsoever. So this one is the one because we control the most. You can see the little blue areas here. That's what we control. And the whole mint green area is the area of the kingdom that we want to go with. And I'm also taking questions from chat and talking to chat while I'm doing this. So uh, what do you say, Matthias? You say problems are mostly generating money and dealing with wars. Yeah, well, okay. That's two two topics that are definitely important. Uh, have you figured out succession yet? Let me ask that first. Because succession, I think, is the, the primary hurdle for anyone getting into this game. Uh, and that's definitely the one that you need to figure out for sure. I also noticed right now that my camera was in the space of where I just explained where to click. So let me hide my camera real quick. You need to click down here to see that view. You can also press Shift W to get the same thing. And E for the regular view where you generally would be playing. All right, let me bring myself back. So if you figured out succession, uh, Matthias, then we can definitely talk about generating money and dealing with wars because that's probably on our horizon as well. That is probably on our horizon. We are a very young ruler in a very hostile land and we do not have a lot of alliances yet, mostly internal alliances, which will save us because that's the first war that usually comes toward you with a new ruler is from your own vassals. Could, uh, could create some titles. Actually, the Duchy of that, no, that actually doesn't help us, does it? Nope, doesn't help us. It doesn't help us because it's not part of the kingdom that we're trying to conquer. So next thing we need to do is take this guy on and go for another county. And luckily we have just enough, just enough piety to do so. So we're going to go for this county. First of all, it links our counties up, which is nice for troop movement. And secondly, it is part of the kingdom title that we're trying to form. And we need only two more counties to form that title. So we'll take this one now and this one potentially later. But for now, we're going to go attack. And we'll have enough troops just by ourselves to fight her off. Though she's not at full strength. So that's something to consider. And we are almost equal on money. Neither of us will be able to afford any mercenaries. But we have some allies we could try and call in. So let's get... Oh, boy, going. And I'm missing a flag. We'll move this flag down here. Raise all our troops. So, since we're going into war, let me talk about war a little bit. Um, first things first, set your commander, no matter what he's doing, to organize the army. That immediately lowers your outflow. But only with raised armies. And this is important because your money definitely defines how long you even can stay in a war. Because if you run out of money, bad things are going to start happening. Your army is not going to desert immediately, but you need a lot of money to fight a war. That's for sure. Next thing you want to make sure is that you have all the knights that you can have. And that they're raised. Let's see. Uh, we could get Cruel Upbringing. Which gives us a hostile scheme success chance of 5% and monthly intrigue lifestyle of plus 5%. Actually, that is very apt for a cruel upbringing. That is very, very apt. So, if we take this big stress, 
which is fine. We get this forever, which is also cool. So we'll take it. So we can have eight other eight knights and we have eight raised in our army. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to force, definitely always force the people who hate you and that are good knights. You can see here. Because knights are the most important bit of your army, really. They are absolutely crucial. You could be sure to try and prevent your heirs to be uh, to be part of your army as a knight, something like that, to prevent them from accidentally dying in battle. That would be preferable if they didn't do that. So right now, we're moving into an area of the enemy. Now, there are a lot of things to consider. For example, if you move in an area of your enemy where you do not have a direct border to, um, you will incur losses, like your people are gonna die. That is due to attrition. You always take some attritional damage while you are within an enemy territory. You can see by the little red flag up beneath your green flag that denotes your attrition rate. It's 1% per month, so it's not a lot. But if you move onto a tile deep within enemy territory, then you might just lose immediately like 100 or whatever. It depends. It, it will tell you. Like, there will be a red skull on the map and that's what you need to watch out for and avoid those territories. So uh, attack castles where you have a direct border or a direct border to something that you've already conquered or rather uh, took over during the war. Let's see. Something, something, something. Hand me a sledgehammer. We could take down some forgotten rune stones. No, we shall listen to the forest dwellers. Where do we even find a forest around here? Let's see. Valia of Gilan, which... Oh, I actually know where that is. Where is that? It's up there. I don't care if that gets forgotten rune stones, but for uh, 200 years, 10 popular opinion. That's good. We shall have them removed and re-raised outside of our castle. Well, that's cool. So the forest dwellers will be quite distressed over there. But we get the forgotten rune stones. Uh, but this guy will potentially hate us a little bit for him. What are we? How are we? We're charming. And we're quite a forceful, I think. So going with the RP thing, we're just going to go have those moved over to our place. And he's kind of unhappy about that. He, he's like, why? Why do this? So right now we're fighting a fortress that is much stronger than what we have because we have zero siege weapons. Despite having... Oh. Our teacher is kind of dead. Oops. Okay, we need... <laughs> we need a new teacher. Uh... Why can't I get a new teacher? Sometimes we have to unpause the game so it will realize that something changed. And we want something with high stewardship because we are very bad at stewardship and we need stewardship. And there's really... Uh, we're gonna go with... Okay, we're just gonna go with this guy. Our chancellor. Really don't have great people around here. My god. Alright, that's fine. So we'll just take a while longer. We'll eventually do it, but it takes us a whole year. Longer than a year, actually. Our enemy is running around somewhere, but I think they are fighting different wars because we can see a hostile army here. Being involved as well. So yeah, they are fighting us and someone else. So bad for them, good for us. So they will not be appearing on the field of battle. For wars, the, dot, the dotted lines areas are where you want to go most. That is definitely your goal. That's what the war is about. You need to hold this eventually to win. There's our enemy. You can, see, you can tell they have a deeper red color. I oh, see, I want to help out. We get a plus one marshal, some stress, and he loses some opinion of us. Um, since we're going for a marshal education, we're going to go for that extra marshal point. So we'll take a little bit of stress as a child. Hey, maybe we die as a stressed child. No one in this family lives very long. Might as well go there. Uh, 
We don't need to worry about any of the gray armies. They don't mean anything to us. That's fine. They don't matter. We're going to lose some troops, as I said. We're having some attrition here. I don't know why the gray army is sitting on top of us. Couldn't tell you. They are not involved in a war with us or with whoever that is about. They might be in a war on an even lower level here. Oh, we don't have a commander in there. Oh, that's bad. Definitely put in a commander. Even if it's not a siege commander, always. Every army needs to have a commander. And if you have only one army, put in the best commander you have. So whoever has the highest commander advantage skill, that's what you want. Sometimes it can make sense to put someone in who has a little lower based on the situation you find yourself in. For example, this guy is good for rough terrain. So if you don't fight in rough terrain and you have someone with an equal skill but slightly less and you're fighting in a forest and the other guy with an equal but slightly less skill is good for forest fighting, then go there. Oh, great. Uh, my current contract is very restrictive, so uh, he takes a hook from us and he is religiously protected, so he will not be able to be forced to change his religion now. That's what he changed in his vassal contract. Okay. Cool. Cool beans. Nothing we can do about that. Apparently. Our house unity is changing and I don't think for the better. Nope, there. I mean, we're in harmonious right now. We pushed it very far. House members can befriend each other. I don't think we can... Be can we befriend people already? Let's check our vassals. Uh, that's not a house member. We're looking for people of our bloodline. Uh, no, we are a child, so children can't, can't have friends. Don't you know? Okay, now we get another trait here for our education. So what could we become? We could become impatient. Which gives us nothing good. Really? Uh, monthly prestige plus 20% is pretty cool. We could become honest. Some diplomacy, less intrigue, not really helpful. Arbitrary. Stewardship down, definitely not. Oh, so all of these are kind of bad. I think impatient might be the best one. Travel speed goes up, travel safety goes down. Hostile scheme power, plus 15%. Uh, opinion of liege, minus 5. Doesn't matter. We don't have a liege. Learning minus 2 is kind of hard. And all the negative modifiers on the various vassal types is also not great. Unlocks the expedite schemes decision. So... Yeah, we'll go with impatient. Honest is kind of okay, but minus four intrigue is pretty big. How much intrigue do we have? Almost none. So I think we're going to go with impatient. It's not great. But what can you do? Sometimes you just have to take the L. So this army here, this hostile army, you can see it says down there, hostile. It's slightly, slightly less red than our true enemy. They will fight us. Sometimes they will even seek to fight us. But they do not contribute to the war score at all. Avoid orangey-ish armies. They are hard to tell apart. I'm very sad about the color scheme they chose. I wish they had taken a better one. But that's how it is. So be careful of that. So we've taken our siege. And we've taken the thing that this war is about. Immediately gives us 58%. Uh, to the to the goal. You can see down there it says cap plus 150%. So from sieging the enemy holdings, we can have a maximum of 150% war score. We need 100 to enforce our demands. Battles usually are capped at 50%. So you can fight as often as you like. You cannot get more than 50% out of battles. You can get from objective celled, which is the dotted area. So since we have this now, this will slowly tick up. Unless our enemy retakes it. Which we'll see if they do. You can have some good prisoners, which is nice. Okay. Uh, our diplomatic uh, issues here. Uh, a foreign ruler lost some opinion of us. Not great, especially if that's one of those uh, Khans over here. That might be looking to bash our skull in. But I think... 
Oh no, that was Kazaria. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. Because we have something bordering them, which we might then lose. Okay, so here you can still not see the difference in coloration because these guys are constantly embroiled in battles with people that don't matter. We got a little bit of gold out of taking this thing down. And our enemy, since he is in different... Okay, now you can see the difference slightly. Look at this red and this red. They also have a little bit of a gray border around, so it's... Uh, I don't know. Again, I don't like it. I wish they had just made it a little bit more clear. I can just take orange. What? Oh, this is bad. So he has raised mercenaries. Or called in an ally. So we're also... Oh, he doesn't want to come. Oh, and we can't increase his opinion of us. Okay, we are in trouble right now. Our enemy has more troops now. A lot more troops. He's attacking us. And we can't supplement our troops. Okay, let's check real quick around here. Do we have any siblings that are not yet married? Yes, but we can't get an alliance out of them. Mm, that's very bad. That is very, 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 very bad. Very bad for us. Alright, okay. We could marry off our mother. That will give us another alliance. And a strong one too. Though, you can see a little bit down here. So this is a tribal ruler. By the shape of the flag, you can tell. This is a tribal ruler. So they might not be very close. Let's see and... Check if we can't find them. Just go here. Okay, he's down there. So he's a little bit far away. Let's see. Is this guy closer? He's not... No, he's not closer. This guy is closest. He's not the strongest of the pick, but that doesn't matter because he's... But he kind of hates us. So he might also not join. Can we get someone who doesn't hate us, but who's kind of close? Where are you? Over there, too far away. Just need someone who's slightly closer, who doesn't absolutely hate us. And anything above 2000 is perfectly fine. Okay, he's... Where are you? Where is your land? Where is this? Yeah, that's close enough. Uh, um, but he hates us again. Nah. He might not come. That's... The Shaikdom of Baghdad. That's not too far away. And he doesn't hate us. So we go with that. So now we should be able... ...to call this guy in. So now all we need to do... ...is avoid being hit in the face... ...until our ally arrives. Basically. So we're not gonna attack this clearly superior army. That makes no sense for us whatsoever. We can also check how his army is comprised to see if, if I'm right, if he took mercenaries. And yes, I was. 721 mercenaries. I don't know how they afforded it. I don't know where that money came from. They started out with the same amount, but they might have won a war. So, okay, we're gonna put our army here. And since they're in the same area that, like, we siege this, this is ours now. So we control this, our troops will take on supplies. And we just have to wait for the Baghdadis. Who currently have 36 soldiers. Because they're being obliterated in a different war. 
Okay, cool. So that didn't work. Right, so our best guess right now is hope for this to tick up against the enemy. Oh god, let's try and find some other solution. Uh, you are still alive? But you're somewhere, I don't know. Um, oh boy. Oof. Okay. So we got a completely worthless alliance. <laughs> okay, we cannot afford mercenaries. Not at all. Not at all. Okay, so maybe we are lucky. Maybe we are lucky and this will tick up quicker than they can take that, but I don't think so. So we're going to move our troops into the mountains there. Because if we have to fight them, and I'm pretty sure we will have to, it's best we fight them in the mountains as the defender. That is usually best. And then we're going to put in this guy. No, we're not going to put in this guy. Even as a hills or rather a mountains dude, he's not going to be better than this guy as an overall leader of our armies. What we also could do is sometimes there are some troops that we haven't raised yet. That are still kind of standing around somewhere. Oh, we have a big problem. We have a big problem. We might have to fight them. Oh, no, we can't. So we might lose this war right now. We might lose this war right now. Because we might become a prisoner here. Okay, let me check if I can try and avoid this. Okay, we can only meet the peers here, so that doesn't help us. I wanted to see if I can go on a travel real quick. Like, just leave. Can I go to Mecca? Um, it's only extremely dangerous, so... And we can afford it. <laughs> so if we get taken prisoner, this war is immediately lost. Um, although we barely almost kind of won. We can't fight them. Because our armies will lose. The question is, will they lose... And yeah, there's a big gamble now. We could go for a white piece. This will cost us some prestige. Our vassals will hate us a little bit, the enemy will take it, and it's fine. If they take us prisoner, the war is over against us. And this siege progress is okay. How long does this take? 36 days left. If we attack, we can take this, we can prolong it. But we're gonna lose the battle, so we're gonna lose war score. Oh, this is, this is horrible. The problem is, okay, let's look at surrender. If we surrender, we lose 87 gold. And we have to pay. So, uh, really, all we can do right now is white piece out. Or do we take the gamble? Now, that's where that's where Iron Man comes in. Whatever choice we're making right now, we're stuck with it. Personally, I don't think that's so bad. But it's definitely difficult. Okay, so I think we can deal with all outcomes. I, we're gonna... <laughs> Can't we get out of here somehow? Can't we do something? Anything. Like, let's go on a hunt. <laughs> Can I? Am I allowed as a child to go on a hunt? I don't need anything. I don't need nothing. No, we are a child. We can't do that. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's, that's the big dangers here. That we are willingly getting into. So. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we're going to slow this down. <laughs> we have a few more days left. If I could lead my army, I would do that, but I cannot. Is 
There's only one day left. Soon. I'm scared. I bet we're gonna be imprisoned. Okay, we just let it run. Let's see what happens. Oh, we didn't get imprisoned. That's great. So they're, no, they're gonna come for us now. They have a better army commander. So while they are coming, we can switch this around. And see if we can't improve the odds. No, still better army commander. Still better army commander, of course. So this guy, he's a really good knight. But I think we're gonna... I mean, he is a rough terrain expert anyway. So we're gonna leave this guy. And he's, he's our absolute best bet. We might lose. I mean, we still have to... We might still have to white piece out of this. Because our ally is not gonna help us whatsoever. So we're gonna see how this battle goes. So we have the full advantage, really. Like, this is big. This is 58 extra percent damage that we're getting. Like, we're absolutely winning, for sure. Uh, except we might not, just due to numerical problems. Okay, what can we do? Um, far from home. My name is Eusebius. The more the merrier we can get this guy in. Are you good at anything? I mean, you're a... Bleh. Embrace a lot and this will be your home, sure. Fine. That's another night for us. So it's fairly balanced, but it... Oh! Uh, it's still anyone's game. Like, this could go either way still. Oh, we're winning. We won. Oh! Crazy good. Crazy good. Oh boy. Okay, this was a big, big, big gamble. Good evening, Fusion Warriors. So nice you could join us just in the nick of time. And by the way, there's now a laser eye thingy emote from our end as well. So Captain Bira says hi, and he got me to do that thing. So, yeah. Um, whew. All right. So this was, this was extremely close. There was no guarantee whatsoever that we win this. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> no guarantee whatsoever. None. Our knights were kind of even. We even lost one. So that's really, really bad for us. Uh, our levies got slaughtered, but so did theirs. Levies always get slaughtered. We're lucky we had a good good amount of pike who could take care of his horses, which he had a bunch. Oh. Okay, this was a big gamble. Big, 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 big gamble. Boy. Oh, let's stand on our armies. Okay, we're now above our domain limit again, so that's a bit of an issue. So this place, we're just gonna grant to someone. Let's see. Did we not just bring in someone on the court? Some Eusebius or some other. He must like us. Where is he? Oi, 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 Zebius. Buddy. Okay, now he hates us. <laughs> Great. Okay, our Chancellor likes us. He he likes us well enough. So I think we're gonna give him this. That's fine. That's good enough. Can I negotiate an alliance with you? I cannot because you're, of course, not of my family. So that's... It's a bit of an issue, and you immediately like us less. Great. I like that he's like, I hate you because I don't have an alliance with you as a clan vassal, but he's not even giving me the option to get an alliance with him. I mean, the way to get an alliance with him would be through marriage. So we would try and get someone of our family, you know, like our regent. Which is not our mother, but actually we don't have any sort of... He can marry... He can marry our father's lover. Okay, he doesn't want to. Fine. He'll find a wife now. It's fine. Huh. <sighs> and we have... We can ransom someone. That's also good. Uh, let's check our prisoners, honestly. There might be something good in there. 
a good soldier or something. A uh, decent steward. Don't care. Mm, mm, he has good traits, but... Uh, honestly... No, nah, there isn't really anything good. So we're just gonna go mass ransom this. Get some money in here. People are accepting the ransoms and leaving, so we're pumping up our little money supply again. Fusion Warrior, how are you doing? You doing good? I hope you are. So we're still working on getting us the Kingdom of Dailam. We could also attack this guy, but he's much stronger than her, so... Uh, not, not the best idea. So after the war is done, we can put him back to do something other sensible. And we're gonna go continue increasing control at home. So we get the full benefits of our home there. And an alliance expired because the guy we married our mother to immediately died. Good stuff. Let's bring our mother back home. So we can marry her off again. So she's back home. Thank you, mama. How about we find you a spouse? You did three Shadow Moltres raids, but you forgot the Hisuian Typhalosian raid event was tomorrow, so I came back home. Well, I mean, you were out about, out and about. You had a bit of fun. That's good. Okay, so the side did is right there. And he's actually, he's, he's, he can actually do stuff for us. So let's ally with this guy through our mother. We need a outside alliance that can help us, militarily speaking. Alright, this is almost done towards stabilization. Very good. Did you, did you catch any cool Pokemon though? Well, that's the question I got. Alright, our cash flow is a little bit restored because we're pumping up the control at home. So this is getting a little bit better again. We could also even spend some money to make some money. But right now we have very little. We need a bigger fund. So we can fight wars. One of the Shadow Moltres has perfect attack. That's good. I mean, can't get better than perfect, can you? Next trait for us, we become Sadistic or Resilient. So Sadistic is Intrigue and Prowess, which is pretty cool. Um, hostile Schemes against their own children. If we're Sadistic, we can go Hostile Schemes against our own children. I didn't know that. That's pretty neat. Diplomacy plus two. Natural Dread goes down. Dread Decay is high. Everyone kind of likes us better except Callous and Sadistic characters. We could remain resilient so we don't get anything here. I don't know, we're charming, impatient. I would like something that helps us with stewardship. Or something that helps us with power, fighting. Um, so I think we're just gonna go remain silent. And not do nothing. So our mother has arrived in our court and we immediately marry her off again. So she can be elsewhere. Then there's some more things that we need to do to build ourselves our kingdom title. Once we have the Dijur counties, we need another duchy title. And that duchy title we can already create, except we don't have the money. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and get the money. Oh, this guy is really weak right now. I'm actually overall very weak. So we could just attack him to get us more land. And he's super, super negative with the gold. Minus 80. He's not going to spring any mercenaries on us. But I think he's the same. Yeah, he's the same religion. So we don't actually have the piety right now to do something like that. But he's a good next target for us. Very good next target for us. So we can form our kingdom. Ransom request. 10 gold. Have it. Thank you. I need all the money in the world that I can get. Should we get a net verse, uh, vet nurse? Yeah. We are still young. Could still help us some. But we need that throne room. Because we got a really cool court artifact from the travel our, our father died on. <laughs> I 
All right, so the unrest phase is in transition into stabilization. I still don't understand, right? I think only concession really moves this forward at all. Otherwise, we're just bumping around between unrest and stabilization. That's all we're constantly doing here. It's kind of weird. Not quite sure how that's supposed to work, but there we go. So power-wise, we're not even that bad at the moment. I'm actually quite impressed with what we got here. We're, we're growing slowly but surely. We're actually getting places. So that's neat. So this guy, uh, we're going to put him here for internal increase. We don't... Huh? I mean, the prestige is kind of nice, but I don't want to give anyone... Uh, an enemy claim. Like, there's a potential with his lack of skill he might generate a claim for our enemies and we ha <laughs> no thank you. Some more money rolling in for us. Okay, so we're now in the stabilization phase. And we cannot end the struggle because we need to be in a concession phase. So... Concession right now has the upper hand. But the other side is working as well, so... We'll see. It appears Concession doesn't reset in between, so eventually it's gonna stop. I feel. Okay, new trade options. Arrogant. Prestige is great. The Vassal Opinion is not great. Fickle. Oh, minus stewardship. Generous. It gives us a hundred piety, which we can use right now. It's virtuous to Asharis. So it gives us extra piety, which we desperately need. Monthly income goes down by 10%, which isn't little. Um, diplomacy goes up by 3. Why do we... Why don't we become stressed here? It's just we get the stress. Probably because it's the coolest thing. <laughs> okay, let's go for generous. It's not ideal for us, honestly, but high diplomacy is pretty good. Improves how other people see us. And again, the piety thing we need immediately, or we can use immediately against this guy. They have reclaimed some money. And they have one ally, but our ally is better. Our allies are better. Oh, actually, he's allied with the same guy. So that's a problem. If okay, all right, that's a that's an issue. Because if he doesn't take our side, oh, actually, we can't even go. Why? Oh, we can't. Ah, oh, it's the current struggle phase. We can't attack each other right now during this struggle phase. Oh, we could holy war against her now. If we wanted to break a truce, which we do not want to. Okay, let's look, let's shop around a little bit. There are more options around us. Okay, there's another holy war for Mugan. That should be within what we need, but he's pretty strong and he has more money than us. So we would need all of our allies. And a holy war is always the chance that he's going to call in allies from his own religion. But a levy, I don't think there's a lot of that. So he might be pretty alone. Let's check. Religion, we can see a levy here and a levy there. And I think that's actually almost all his. No, it's not. It's this girl. So she might join him. That's another 1,200. So that's 3,500 potentially against us. But we do have enough for that. It's just the financials potentially an issue. Let's check on the kingdom titles if that is even... Nope. None of what he has is part of the... Oh, no. Actually, it is. The mint. All the mint colored here. Not the blue. The blue border. That's what we have. The mint is what we need. Basically. Okay, let's see. Could also go over here against them. Install a loyalist doesn't help us. <laughs> so piety is kind of important. 
So I think we're gonna go on a holy war up there. And take Mugan. Or we just take whatever is the best what he has. So this bit here is the best. But it doesn't really matter. Does it? Let's check. So this has 8 development. That's not a lot. Some decent loot. High loot usually gives you an idea of how good it is. So I think we're just going to go for that. Weaken him. So we want Shirvan. Looks a little bit disjointed what we're doing here. But trust me, it makes sense. Makes enough sense, let's say. So let's go attack Shirvan. I made some mistakes. We need to run. <laughs> because I don't actually have enough troops to fight him without my allies. And I didn't remember that if we're on opposing sides of the struggle, our allies are actually not gonna come. They are not truly allies. So now we need to run away. Until the ally that is coming, and I don't know from where, arrives on the battlefield. Uh, so that's lovely. Let's go ahead and try and get this absolute banger. This guy, let's try and get him on our side, can we? Join my side. We are a child, and he is at war, so he doesn't care. And we cannot call him because opposite side of the struggle. I'm learning so much here and I'm learning that I need to be a little bit more clear on things. So this guy is joining us. The question is where is he? Oh good god. So he put his troops to ship but he will take forever to come for us. So we're gonna check real quick can we afford some mercenaries and the answer is absolutely we cannot. So I made a mistake here and it's gonna be a costly one. We're no matter where we go, no matter what great leader we'll have, we will not be able to defeat this army. If we, fight, if we fight in mountains, it doesn't matter. He's gonna take us out. So we need to keep running, basically, until our ally joins us. Or he gets bored of the chase and goes elsewhere. Then we can turn around and start attacking him. In hopes of him sitting on a on long siege. And... Our siege just being quicker, basically. Of course, the problem here with the siege is we might get captured and then we might lose. So we'll we are setting everything on our ally to arrive. And I just accidentally moved my troops right there. I didn't want to do that. I'll stay right there. I just wanted to right-click this banner so we can talk to this guy again. There's nothing I can do, as long as he's on the other side of the struggle. Okay. We are a heterosexual and we will have a crush on our little courtier girl here. The peasant leader. Sh sure. Let's have him have a crush. Oh, she likes us too. I've never seen that. And that sounds much sadder than it is. <laughs> I've never seen it. So we might lose this war immediately right now. Because we could again be taken prisoner. And I can't fight them without our ally. And even with our ally that might be a bit of a struggle. And they're not going to arrive anyway quick enough. So I generally do not advise to speed the wars up. But I'm going to go to 4 level uh, speed. Because right now we're literally just waiting. 
for our ally to arrive, so we might be able to do something there. Okay, we weren't captured, so that's nice. Uh, some of our courtiers were. And we might have to run away now, because he's coming for us again. So we abandon our siege, and we're going to run away. Let's get a good steward in. Let's slow down again. So we don't have a good, powerful vassal steward. Who'd have thunk? And our good steward is actually horrible. <laughs> oh boy. But he can keep promoting culture, so that's good. Okay, our ally is coming. So ideally... Oh no. No ideally here. We're going to be caught, and we're not going to be caught in the mountains either. So he's going to destroy us now, and this war is lost. Our ally will not be able to turn this around if he even arrived, and he doesn't, so he's going to get destroyed now. Uh, so we have lost, and I will simply go and surrender, because there's literally nothing I can do. So, surrendering ring here is, uh, yeah. Luckily, it doesn't cost us too much, it just costs all of our gold. But yeah, this was bad. <laughs> this was really, really bad. Sometimes you have to take the L, but that was just bad. Really, 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 really bad. All of our armies, everything was destroyed. Completely. Uh, so we're gonna reassign our Chancellor to this. He's actually a better... Um, he's actually a better commander. Uh, he's actually all, all the good things that we have. So we're just gonna put in our uncle. And he needs to definitely stay on organized army to get the levy reinforcement rate up. Because right now we're at zero of everything. We lost Fusion everything. Warrior demands the imperial hydrate. Well, if Fusion Warrior demands I shall hydrate, I shall I uh, shall do so. Thank you very much. Ah some good war. Thank you. Patroth can marry. Good stuff. Totally worth it. Great alliance. Actually, is that a different alliance? Oh yeah, that's a different alliance. All of our siblings are slowly coming of age, so we're gonna start getting a bunch of alliances that were agreed upon before we took the throne. So that's nice. We gained a loyalty to predecessor hook on this vassal here. Why do I have troops standing around over there? What the heck is that? Oh, I've inherited... I've inherited something. But that was already part of our realm, wasn't it? Let me check. Kingdom title. Are we closer now? No. So that was already part of our realm. I just inherited it. Okay. We can't hold that. I mean, we can, but it's not super advisable. We're just going to hold it for a while. And now we can negotiate this alliance. But we cannot, because he's definitely not going to do that. And this powerful vassal would like something. Start a feud against Haud's Pashang. We get a house feud. Now, nothing can bring Quarin back. Our uncle is dead. And it was my fault too. I, I, I wasn't going to start uh, anything ab over. No, 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 no. Who did we have that hook on? Let me see. Intrigue. Hooks and secrets. This guy I have the hook on. That doesn't help me at all though. Good stuff. Let's uh, hide our shame by clicking that thing away. I'm just going to keep holding these until we turn, until we come of age. Okay, little cousin, I don't care. You become intrigue and I can't get an alliance out of you anyway, so I don't care what you're going to marry. Okay, Brahman will be dismissed. Inshallah. Set the scale. Brahman re uh, rarely heeds any laws or regulations instead of collecting taxes based on his whims. Peasants are often troubled. 
So we could kick him out and he becomes a incapable tax collector. But we get some party, so let's get a new tax collector in here. And we only have average aptitudes. And we're gonna take Oisebios, the man we brought in here from foreign lands in hopes of him doing a little bit of a better job than his predecessor. I'm still a little bit sorry about this. Um, this this hurts my soul a little bit. That that wasn't great. I wasn't. Mm -mm. No no no. That was a bad war. No one likes us. So this is getting back up. We had a thousand and four hundred or something, and now we're this low again. That just... Uh... So the problem, why is this so much lower than it was before? Is because we were recently destroyed, recently attacked here, so... Oh, resistance to administration, minus 25%. Not even sure how, where that comes from. Not quite sure. Okay, we got welcome administration now, so that should change. Yeah. So that is just basically gone now. The bad thing. Yeah, but we're still working through getting stuff a little bit better. Ransom. Okay. You want to give me money? Give me money then. Nope. I paid money. <sighs> I should have known. I didn't even win a siege in the last war, so... Where would I have gotten the hostage from? Really, truly, literally, where? Okay, by the way, these guys... These guys are gonna go here. Because there they get the best. The most power. Ooh, we get another trait? Wait, don't we already have three? Oh no, charming is a childhood trait. That's gonna go away eventually. So let's see, what can we become? Just, that gives us some stewardship. Finally some stewardship. Intrigue minus three. Doesn't matter too much. And it's a virtue. So that's even even better. Don't want that. Temperate. Also virtue. And a small health boost. And stewardship. That's the one we're gonna go for. We are going to be temperate. We are generous, impatient, and temperate. I like that we can be both impatient and temperate. But we got two... Uh, two virtues now. So extra... Extra piety income. We love that. Love to have it. Love to see it. So these guys go... I don't know. Nowhere. And we could station them back here, but we do get nothing out of it because, well, we're over our domain limit. But I hope, I hope that the five here is going to give us a little bit more. I hope that's going to give us a little bit more. It might not. But we only see once we're, once we're fully grown. Which is in another three years, so... That's not great. One of our courtiers was released from prison. Very good. So this guy still has the same ally as us. <laughs> Surrender hurts, but surrendering after further uh, after further losses hurts more. It's true. That's a very good point. I agree. I didn't see that message, sorry. Calm down. We can have a look at it together. Ooh, there's a chance someone becomes our friend. Or that guy gets cutting corners, so his learning goes down. Which, you know, do you work or will have you flogged? I will just walk along. 
No, okay. I cannot do this. These tax law treaties are too old, too vague, too disorganized. How am I ever meant to find anything here? Calm down. We can have a look at it together. We're gonna try this. And he grew careless, so he got cutting corners. Which lowers his learning. But decreases his stress gain. So he might now be a bad tax collector. No, he's still average, so. What does it matter to me? He can stay on. So right now I'm waiting to grow up. Ain't that something that a lot of us have thought when we were kids and then we realized what happened once we grew up and then we were like, no, let us go back, please. I'm completely disconnected from the Iranian intermezzo as well. <laughs> like, I just, it, it happens in the background. Sometimes it has consequences for us. We gain besotted. Full of the fiery passions of youth, this character is truly enamored with another. When we're older, will we be married, she asks earnestly. My quizzical expression clearly prompts a follow-up. When we're both of age, we should surely be married. It is our destiny. Um, let's go pin that girl. Of course we will. Huh. Why wouldn't we marry our childhood crush? She crushes back on us. That is so rare. Why wouldn't we want this? Oh, we have a friend already. Our sister. Why do I have a sister that doesn't have a marriage going on? I'm missing out on alliance power here. Hello? The Scheibnid Emirate. Okay, but why do I not see where you stand on the whole thing? On the whole issue, on the whole stuff? Why don't I see that? I mean, they're they're powerful. They're they're somewhere. They're over there. But why do I not see your stance? Where is that? Maybe he doesn't have a stance. So we'll just go with that. Sorry, sister. That's just how it goes. Do you still bear the secret mark of Zorro? Ah. Uh, I don't know what that means, so I can't really answer. Oh, we should. Oh, um. Can we still meet our peers? Oh, no, it's too late. Oh, uh, secret faith. I don't think so, no. Nah. No, I don't think we have that. There exists a certain... No, no, no. I think that died. I mean, look at, look at this. Look at our lineage. Look at these fools. 27, 38, 9 years, 17 years. Like. <laughs> Plus, it wasn't even Zoroastrianism. It was, um, it was something else entirely. Closer to a friendship with whom? Our regent and court physician. That's nice, but I'm telling a story here. Come on, let's get the court. Uh, sure. We'll grow closer to a friendship. Friendships are always good. Super powerful. Do my eyes deceive you or are you being beaten about again? I mean, she absolutely despises us, and for good reason. We have been taking from their lands forever and ever and ever, and we're gonna continue doing it as well. Once our truce is done, we're coming back, basically. 
Wait, where's my truth? There. No. There. No. There. What? Where's my truth with her? Oh, that's her. <laughs> oh, they just have the almost exact same flag. So this is her. So in 10 months. Oh, cool. We promoted the culture. So is this now... Delamite. Perfect. That helps us. That helps us a lot. So now he can go and push development. Increase development here in our a new capital. What was our secret faith anyway? Let's check. So this guy and then his grandfather. It was uh, Mazdayan. Oh, it is a Zoroastrian. Okay. All right. Okay, fine. Forget what I said. Forget what I said. You know, you know these things better than me. Why do I ever even think that I know regions better than you? Like, I should just give up on that. So we're working toward unrest again. Which means we can fight each other once more. Who are you losing again? Like these guys have been attacking you for ages. Over and over and over again. Basically every time we come and try and do a war against you. They are also there. I don't like this. We're still so weak. So small, so weak. You are forced, you are forced. All these powerful vassals who hate us, all forced into service. All these decent ones. Oh, Zebius, you can be forced as well, trust me. Ah, oh, Mufti can stay, that's fine. Okay, we are getting closer to coming of age with 14. Two more years. Our crush is a little bit older than us. And we will be able to start warring here again very soon. And we'll come for Toksoba. Over there. The Shaktim of uh, Talish. That's what we're gonna come for. I don't know if this button will update. Like, it might not. Where is she? Three months. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Okay, someone is trying to kill us. Let's become more vigilant. And make sure that they are disrupting schemes, which is always good. And they don't hate us too much. It's also very good. Do we have any faith to convert anywhere? Okay, yes, but they are protected. We can't convert there. Darn contract. Oh, our holding limit has gone up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 our stewardship level. It's doing something. We're we're still a bad steward, but we're not as bad as we could be. Oh, 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 that's good. That's very good. We like that for sure. So this is Gazi gone bed. This man must be punished severely. To appease the good townsfolk. Hmm. We could use such a man as you because you're a Ghazi raider, but I can't raid. Then again, you're really good as a as a knight and as a leader, potentially. I'm a nice prison cell for you. So this place, get this already. And that's home. That's at home. No, I don't want this at home. So... You are being a criminal at home, you die. 
You can't be a criminal at home. This is forbidden. Were you never taught? You can't be a criminal at home. There's laws here. Absolute fools. Mano she here joins our court, maybe. You may keep your secret, your loyalty is enough. Eusebius will simply have to work harder. <laughs> it has not escaped me that your tax collector is shall lacking. I therefore bring you a gift. Manushi here will serve you admirable. I mean, he's pretty good. So we'll take that gift and kick that guy out. Or replace him with the one guy who has a good aptitude there. Which increases our ooh, income by quite a bit. Plus 200 soldiers and plus 8. 0 0.8 income. Sorry, Eusebius. Now that's more like it. That is more like it. This keeps blinking when something happens. You can't see it, but I can see it. What is story, Farzad? Sorry from the past. Increase our diplomacy by one. Why would I not take this? Like, seriously, okay? I'm a little bit stressed, so stress loss is also good. But diplomacy plus one, that doesn't come along every time, every day. We're actually a really good diplomat for our uh, martial education focus. 15, that's high. That's really, really high. When we're gonna we're gonna lose charming eventually, once we grow up, that's gonna change. Okay, you want us to become a detractor of the caliphate. Okay, let me let me check. This guy is the detractor of the caliphate. Let's check our outside alliances basically. Everyone who's an outside alliance, let's check. If they're a supporter or a detractor, that's that's gonna that's all that's all I'm gonna think about here. So you have nothing. I don't even know if you're inside or outside of the realm. You are outside, detractor. Yeah, okay. Oh no. I don't know. You're a supporter, but I think you're inside of the realm. Yep. Supporter, but inside. Supporter, uh, no, you're nothing actually. You are a supporter, but you're also inside the realm. Supporter and inside the realm. Doesn't matter. Should we switch? No. I think I shall decline. Would be good for our outside alliance, for sure. But now I know that I need to look out for that. So... I don't feel it's necessary. That's some good music. I like it. They must have had so much fun making the music for this game. Got so much... Oh, right. Uh, our truth should be done, shouldn't it be? I, I don't want to click on declare war because that's going to end the music. Who's your ally? Okay, it doesn't matter. And we get the Christian feudal fanfare. Great. We don't even get the cool one. The thematic one.
And we're so rich we're even earning money while we fight. That is that is the best. Let's bring in some ally. Let's bring in the big ally. I'm not willing to risk anything here. We never know. Like, she might suddenly find some money under some cushion that I didn't see before we started the war, and then suddenly she has some people there. We stop having a crush on her. She will always be dear to me. Oh. Yeah, she has become of age now, so we're a little bit behind. Tabiz is under siege. Now, which siege is going to be bigger? Which, which siege is going to be quicker? Let's see. Good repute, parochial vassals, you overreach. We'll likely stay selfless. We'll remain selfless, we'll stay with that. Can't you take care of that? We are, we are very charming, so uh, our, let's see, 10 months, 11 months. Since it's kind of equal, I'd rather go fight the enemy sitting on our, on our doorstep here. And we'll put in this guy. I mean, this guy is a certain win because he is a... He, he likes fighting against infidels, basically. So they went down to the desert mountains, which is still my territory, so they don't get the defensive position there. And we are known for our faith. So we have just come of age. Very good. We have completed our studies of warfare. As I take my first step into adulthood, find myself reminiscing about the past. Memorable times with this girl, which we will now take as our wife. And we become a skilled tactician. Actually, not so bad. And we are no longer Vali Farzad's ward. Okay. And we got the trade flexible leader. That's actually pretty, pretty decent. So now. Her. We want her as our spouse. Where is she? Avsna. Okay, I think we're just gonna do it like this. Let's go. Just because it's cute. Childhood lovers. Oh, she's our, our wife wife now. Whoops. Okay. And now let's get us some alliance power in here. And zoom out from this. Okay, nothing big, it appears. Maybe we should get some wives at home. So we're gonna go ahead and click arrange marriage. That will give you only options within your realm. Actually, only in our court. But what I want to do is I want to arrange a marriage here if I can. Nope. I want to find those little vassals who hate us for not having an alliance with us. So maybe we can get a marriage here. Nope. Well, they don't have anyone for us to marry, so what can I do? What am I supposed to do? And we could get one here with the 35-year-old. That's a bit too old. Let's pick our martial focus there. And we're going to go for... What are we going to go for? Uh, chivalry focus. Advantage plus five. Attraction. I think we're going to go for strategy. Let's just boost our, our military competence a lot further. I mean, Chivalry Focus is also nice, honestly. I, I, do, I do appreciate both of these. But do I want to lead myself a lot? I don't think he's going to go in the Gallant Tree. For once, we're not going to push our knights to the edge.
and we became the culture head, yeah? As is tradition. And we're pushing Gavelkind. To potentially get some more domain limit going. And we have a dangerous faction sitting here. This fool. Who cannot enter into an alliance with us. Murdering, not much of an option. Could ask him to convert. No, we cannot. His contract forbids it, yeah, right. That was a thing. So he doesn't have... Oh, no, actually. Is that an outside alliance that I see here? That I spy with my little eye? No, that's an inside alliance. Doesn't matter. So he's, he's not weak, he's not strong. We'll be fine. Except we're standing around pointlessly and we should be sieging our enemy. <laughs> so we're, we're good. We're good here. I don't fear that faction so much. And it would be good to slap him around a little bit. Would help us some. But we're gonna take this now. It's our utmost priority. And since we have an ally already en route for this war, if he declares, we're just going to call this guy in. So they're already immediately there. So I'm somewhat confident. Let's see. Do we have a siege lad? We do not. Now, will they attack us? Maybe. If so, they will lose. Yep, yep, yep. All they have is more men at arms. Won't help them. Alright, we are moving. Oh, perfect. She was leading that army. Instant win. It's kind of bad for my plan with the allies, but. Well, we can't have everything. We have too few spouses, and we should absolutely dismiss our region. Let's 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 take care of that. And let's get our spouses in here. And we want to go for alliance power. Uh, it's not bad, but I'd rather take this girl. She is beautiful. She is young. And she brings a big, big army with her. I mean, it's not super big, but it's big enough for me. So I think we're just going to go with her. Let's get this girl in there. Excellent. Very good. Okay, uh, let's check our succession real quick. Are we losing any titles to anyone? Not really. But we can't hold what we have right now, so... We need to grant these to some people. And ideally, we give it to someone we are related to. For example, our... Uncle and Chancellor. So we're going to give him some titles, because with him we can negotiate an alliance. Actually, we're just going to give him all this. All this. That takes care of two of our titles. And then we're balanced again. And with him we can go ahead and negotiate that alliance. Which we can do with family members. And there in clan, if, if you have a nice house unity, which we have right now, harmonious, they are very willing to enter this. So as a clan, it actually makes a lot of sense to put your family members into positions of power. In other regency types, in other in, in feudalism, that doesn't make sense. Like they become a threat to you. In clan, they are still a threat to you, but not as much. <laughs> I find. Uh, give a few lessons to my steward. Okay. Ten to the Rustum can use them. I mean, teach this guy. He seems to enjoy that idea. Also, my dear wife, I think we need to, we need to, we need to give you, we need to give her some new clothes. Like, this is, look at this, this is, this is deeply unacceptable. That, that won't do. That won't do at all, chat. Uh, so the hair she can keep as she likes, but she gets some um, Iranian low nobility, I think. I quite like this with the with a little sash. That's very smart. 
do you get a cloak? No. Do you get headwear? I don't know. Bokta? I don't know what would be traditional. Oh boy! <laughs> A ton tour? Uh... Maybe you get a circlet. Face items. Alright. Some glasses. What the hell is that? Coat of arms crest. That is broken as heck. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. Legwear, all good. So our wife doesn't look like she fell off a wagon. So let's see. Can I modify your vassal contract? You're not gonna hate... You're not gonna like it anyway. Okay, it has already been changed. I can't do that anymore. We have to kill this man. That's all there's to it. We'll have to kill this man. Stabilization is in transition into unrest, so war among the people is possible again. Let's see. Why don't you take a break? He gets some opinion of us. Or... My vassal expect their taxes to be handed efficiently. It doesn't seem like there's a bad thing coming from that. Every taxpayer gets 15 opinion of us. That's pretty good, but he's overworked. Can I commander side him? I mean... Okay, let's check. He's too weak to send an ultimatum right now. Is he a knight of ours? Well, I could commander side him, probably, potentially. But I tend to not lose my commanders or knights. And we would have to start another war somewhere. Announce opposition to the Caliphate. We could do that now. If we felt like it. But we don't feel like it. So we're not going to do that. We're good with the Caliphate. Alright. We have another spouse that we need to fill in. So we want rel uh, alliance power. But not the hideous one. Oh, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> Let's see. There's someone maybe a little bit younger, potentially. I need to check if there are enemies or something. What would you get along with Caliph 9? I feel like that's another joke, and I don't get it. Caliph 9. Nine, because German. I don't know. Okay, so this guy doesn't have a position either. I don't understand why some of these don't have a position. Oh, because he's just too, too far away. So this doesn't matter. He's like super weak, but she is a robust lass. So I think we're gonna get ourselves the robustness. Caliph eight, Caliph nine. Ah, uh, boy. But would you get along with Caliph 9? We are not Caliph... We didn't eat the ca Caliph. We're not cannibals. Or something. Okay, we can unpin her. We know that we like her. We're done. We're done up with that girl. So... Um... Let's seduce our wife. Romance her. Let's get... Okay, let's, let's seduce her. Let's make her a lover, at least. If we can't make her a proper soulmate easy, then at least we're gonna make her our lover, I think. So stabilization is going back. Coming back on the menu. The Abbasid are actually surviving quite long. I'm finding the Iranian intermezzo thing actually quite interesting, I must say. Because there's a lot of inward pressure. Like, depending on where you currently are, it, it might make a lot of sense to uh, go certain ways and avoid certain other ways. Hey, good evening. How we roll, Eoghan? So nice you're dropping by. 
How you doing? Did you play some more Crusader Kings 3? <laughs> Do you have questions? Do you bring questions about Crusader Kings 3 that we can try and get you educated on? You did and it was as panicked. Oh no. Oh no. We might gain a martial arts up perk. We're definitely gonna go with that. Definitely gonna go with that. And this faction here is getting close. Let let's just let let him go. Let him let him do his thing. I want to I want him to do his thing. Let's see. My lord of water stores leaked while on the move and our pack animals cannot make them march home without more water than we currently have. The soldier looks at me nervously. If we the lord has a help carry the water skin. So if we if we tell the knights to do that. Yeah, the knights will help carry. We'll take a little bit of prestige hit, that's fine. So this guy is always on the edge of attacking us. Can't do anything to him to annoy him. Let's just start a murder scheme against him. I don't even care. I rule by divine light. Uh, right. Whoops. You have one day to flee this place, Zealot. I don't want to abandon my search. No, 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 no. I already rule by... Where is this theocracy? I don't care. I just need to get back to playing. And my main issue is I play so slow on a multiplayer game. It is 100 miles an hour for me. <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. Um... I think for the multiplayer game, it's set for everyone, right? I don't feel like it should ever be higher than three. Like, three is a is a difficult pace already, so two or three should be good for multiplayer. Everything above that is cruel. And I don't believe anyone that they're good at playing at that speed. Don't believe anyone. Four is good if you're safe, if you're secure, and you can pause. I would never be four. Anything else. N never ever. Okay, this guy loses some opinion of us. We get some overworked soldiers for five years. Mm. Nah, we just lose some opinion of this guy. But, I mean, if, you, if you're still having fun, that, that's all that really matters, I think. Got enough coin to pay for the damages. Yeah, we do. We we need we need the money to form our kingdom here. And we're close to what we need. We cannot at the moment create another duchy title. We can only create another duchy title once we have enough money to immediately also create the kingdom title. So we need I think 750 750 gold. That's what we need. And we had a valuable exercise and we get another martial lifestyle uh, point. Very good. Very good. Yeah, it is at that for... It is at that for us. So at three, I, th I assume. They're all just a bit more experienced playing and I remember almost back to their level. I've made a king, so I'm fine. Now. Well, congratulations. That's great. King is the first big step you need to take. After that, you can, you can relax a little bit. Just deal, take care of your kingdom and and deal with all that. Honestly, like that's that's a big step, especially with Confederate petition. That is just um, a horrible thing to deal with early on. I think the Duchess appreciates the physical pleasures of life, or at the very least, poetry. I mean, she is humble, honest, lazy, and calm. Perhaps not. I think we'll go with this. Well, I can relax as much as any Netherlands king between Frankie and France. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, that is a tough place to be. So where do we want to go? Bellum Justum. Causus belly cost minus 50%. That has been a problem for us recently, so I feel like that is a good idea. Uh, I don't know if we need Serve the Crown so much. I think we're going to go with the strategist one. I didn't want to go in Gallant, though. It's good. So we're going to go with strategist. So what is the plan here? Yeah. Well, the plan at the moment is really just forming our own first kingdom. We have a different succession type because we're a clan. And I'm learning clan myself. I've only ever really played feudal. So right now uh, we're going to go play clan. Um, or we are playing clan. So 
our succession types are really, really different here. They are bound to what our clan is currently feeling about each other, basically. So, I don't think that there is no confederate partition here. It doesn't exist. There's only equal. There's only partition. Which is good. So no titles will be created out of thin air for any of the kids. Which takes off huge amounts of pressure. So unless I create a duchy title, a second one, my realm is not going to break apart in succession. No matter where we stand. That's really, 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 really strong. It's crazy good. Um, so I'm fine. <laughs> But we're working toward a kingdom title anyway, because I got from my late father, I got this very nice court artifact here, and I don't have a courtroom to put it in. So that's that's the only reason I want a crown. That's the only reason I want to be king right now. <laughs> uh, so we're working on creating this kingdom. We have everything that we need. We could create a second duchy title. Fairly no problem, once we have the money. But I do need to have enough gold to immediately also create the kingdom. Because as I said, right now, if I created a, sec a second duchy title, this would be split out on succession. So then we would have to fight for it and it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to leave it dormant. I'll save up to 750 gold and then we're going to do our thing. That's basically the plan right now. And in between, maybe fight a little bit of a war, uh, increase our holdings within that kingdom, all that good stuff. Okay, seducing our wife is getting bad impressions. No. Not good. Come on, buddy. Come on. Do your thing. Are you streaming tonight? Today? Anytime? Okay. I will confess my love. Let, let's try. Let's see. Maybe our childhood reciprocated crush and now wife will become our lover. I feel like we have the right setup for it, but... Okay, she doesn't feel like it. She seems entirely uninterested in us as a lover. I am left heartbroken. She has a hundred opinion of us. So we could start it. The scheme will begin with a large bonus. Let's try again. We're not giving up on our childhood sweetheart here. Definitely not giving up on that. Oh, we can station a regiment. And since I actually own this place now, we're going to get something out of stationing them there. So that's nice. Let's do it. I would like to get another regiment in. So the main problem I've had so far with the, with the clan rulership is getting armies, getting soldiers. Because you get such little contribution to this. So you need a lot. You need a large amount of people under you. That's really important. Okay, we could get Pious Contact or Pious Hindrance on this murder scheme against our little strong vassal here. So I think we're gonna go with this. It's for the good of the faith. Let's see. Nope, we get Pious Hindrance. Good golly. That's why I avoid... I avoid, avoid, avoid intrigue. It never really goes super well for me. I was this morning, but streamer uh, is across three games at the moment. I'm football manager streamer, occasional the CK3 multiplayer with other football manager creators, and recently ended up playing Minecraft server with the other football manager creators. So a bit all over the place. Now that's a that's an interesting portfolio you got there. That was a very interesting portfolio. How does Crusader Kings fit into that? That's really interesting. Let me give you a little shout out there. If you look, if you're into football manager at all, and you're watching right now, go give uh, Howie Roll Eogan a little follow. Check them out. They do play Crusader Kings Three, as you learned. <laughs> so how how did how did that happen? Like how did you football manager people come to CK Three? I really wonder. Okay, we can toss a coin and wish for Romans. I like that. That is a very cute thing. We're gonna do that. Let's toss a coin. We lose one gold because the coin apparently just it vanishes. I don't know. Uh, but we... 
Might get a little bit of a romance going. We're all nerds and at the end of the day, this is all strategy and stats, basically the same game. <laughs> all right, okay. All right, cool. So that we're we're getting places here with our with our girlfriend. That's good. Our wife, and hopefully soon also our girlfriend. <clears throat> I really I really haven't played any sports types game for forever. Like the last thing I picked up was the was the Nintendo Switch one uh, of Captain Subasa or something. The anime, the football anime. <laughs> I used to play on the on the Nintendo on the NES. There was a football game where you could where you could foul enemies so long until they died. So eventually you could just kind of decimate the enemy team and you had these special uh football moves like that that's all in terms of football sports game I ever played. We could give him a gift or we get the gift ourselves. Uh we'll he suspects it. That something is off. Let's see if he's smart. Let's see if he realizes that we're trying. Yep, he realizes something is going on. Can't we get some? Can't we get some? Someone in here? Can be convinced. Okay, so the caraman master can be convinced. For how much can you be convinced? No, sixty gold. That's too much for our. No, 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 no. Started off streaming XCOM, Subnautica, and Stardew. So I just stream what I feel. Uh, occasionally. Yeah, it's fair enough. Okay, let's send this proposal here. Confirm some alliances. I mean, I do Crusader Kings and some... Some Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Some TTRPG stuff. Some world building. It's also an odd mix. The Harvey Roll part of the name is from D&D type role playing too. So that is a whole other side. Oh man, come on, that's crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm prepping uh, for an actual play campaign right now. One of my one of my groups was like, "Hey, would you be up for an actual play?" And I'm like, ah, okay, maybe. Oh, that's your podcast. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> I've actually some some stuff made. Uh, ooh, we have a pregnancy. Very good. Actually, some stuff made around there. So, what what is your? Yes, D and D and CK three makes more sense. Uh, what is your podcast about? Let's see, named, named Red and Friday prayer. Now I don't want to announce my opposition. Why do I keep clicking on this? I need to dismiss. Speaking of which, by the way, I would like to go on a pilgrimage and stuff, but. Money is more important right now for us. So let's accept this arranged marriage. Beard activated. <laughs> My beard is always activated. Is always tingling and ready to go. <laughs> let's be entertained. East of Indus. It's an actual play show. So we play TTRPGs. Most Call of Cthulhu. Uh, but we've worked with D&D in the past and have some story arcs there. Cool. Very good. Maximum overbeard. <laughs> now I feel like I should try and build a build a emote, an animated one where my beard just takes over the whole face. And only the eyes are left, like the wolfman, something like that. But I don't know if I have the creative skills to do that. That's cool. So the the podcast, um, how long has this been going? How long have you been doing that? I can just hit you up for tips <laughs> because my party is not going to be on camera. They, uh, they, they all don't want to do that. So we're going to have party portraits up. I haven't really figured out any, any of the techno, uh, technology side yet. I got some good tips from chat already, but uh, we'll see it. So what is she into? I mean, she's humble. That doesn't mean pious. Though it gives piety. So maybe it does. Let's give her something pious to read. Ah, oh, yeah. She liked that. Gives us smoldering chemistry talking about God. Hot stuff. 
A local burl trainer could give it as a gift. No. It's too risky. We're not going to do that. So what will happen first? Our failed attempt on his life or his failed attempt at our... At his independence. I'm only an ignorant player, but I can help out with tech questions if needed. Whisper me here if needed. We're going on nine years this year. Crazy. That's crazy. Have you found much success with the podcast? Like, we'll just probably do it on YouTube and not as a podcast format. I don't know. Uh, YouTube allows uploading podcasts. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect emoticon. The moustache of whatever that is. I hope that is a thing with the moustache. Just keeps twirling. As we're united in marriage, we are now united in heart. Very good. Finally. Our wife is also our lover. Now let's try and get some lovers or even a soulmate here. And she just became pregnant anyhow. Let's see. Let's see. Which one here is the most likely to become our soulmate? Okay. Everyone is getting pregnant oh. right now. Good evening, Nicholas. One, two, three. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. And welcome. Uh, so 40%, that's not a lot. And 0%, that's not a whole lot either. So let's try and make her our soulmate. Oh, no. Ooh, I think the game just crashed. It's a spinning cheeseburger. Oh, the game did not crash. Good. Yes, we have some. It makes a small bit of money. Covers expenses and equipment, really. And we've been part of a campaign. Launches for Wizards of the Coast. Really? Well, color me impressed. Ah, uh, siege weapon effectiveness is good, but we don't have any siege weapons, so it doesn't really matter. Organized march, I really like it. Quicker army movements, but this... Toughness for everyone. Then again, we don't have any cavalry, so it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go for this. This is what gives us the most immediate bonus. That's really cool. That's really cool. So it's just an actual play, like you don't invite guests to talk about stuff or things like that. Yeah, so super lucky for some Irish and British nerds now we'll stop taking over time. Hey, don't worry. I'm asking the questions here. So if I keep asking you questions about the stuff you're doing, no worries. Are you potentially on the Fediverse as well, like a Mastodon or something? That would be cool. Because that's where I live with, with my social media presence as it is. You did a short series of interviewing creators. Alright. If you ever pick that up again, hit me up. I have things to say. I have created things. Um, oh, by the way, you can get uh, free battle maps over on my Ko-Fi. Those are battle maps that I created for campaigns that I'm running. Uh, so if you ever want to check that out, feel free. Maybe you can have one for one of your campaigns at some point. Still lingering on Musk land and need to transition to blue sky. Ah, go to Mastodon. Ignore blue sky. That's just, that's just Musk land, but not yet. Ah, yes, I'm a DM. I run three campaigns at the moment. Uh, though one of the campaigns, we kind of alternate between who's a player and who's a DM. But I've been running that for a while now, so. Uh, I, I much prefer being the DM, honestly. Uh, yes, it's all D&D. We might switch one of the campaigns over to Star Trek at some point. Sounds interesting. Or we might have a one-shot or something. And we got a little daughter. Shamim. That's a nice name. Okay, we're educating her toward... Stewardship. Because we have very bad stewards all around. So we need that. Yeah, but it's, n it's nothing public. It's all private at the moment. I do create a little bit, like I have a few TTRPG stuff that I tried out to see on, on my YouTube channel, but didn't really take, and the format is too much work for me, so... Eh. Most interesting things of what I did in terms of D&D are on my Ko-Fi. Like, I have a, I have a little uh, crafting system that's D20 compatible that I think works pretty well. 
And I have some views and ideas on how to do magic items and all that kind of stuff, so. I got some stuff. Do you mind if I ask where you are from? Can't place the accent. Oh, let's have a little... Let's have a little moment of... Uh, let's guess where I'm from. Uh, everyone in chat that doesn't know... Some of you in chat know where I'm from. So let's... Everyone in chat, let's throw out an idea. Where do you think I'm from based on my accent? Let's see. Let's see what you guys can come up with. And maybe someone gets it. Again, everyone who already knows, you are disqualified. You may not enter. You may not con contribute here. Timbuktu. <laughs> good, good stuff. Thank you, Fusion Warrior. That is, uh, that is highly, highly relevant addition there. Can we get you something matrilineal? Because you're our first daughter and I do like matrilineal for those. Okay, 1,900. Well, that's actually pretty good with our cousin. But that's internal, so that doesn't really help us. Can we get external? Cousin and vassal. That is internal. Your uncle. Oh, this guy. We don't have anything with this guy yet. Though he's our dynasty. It's all kind of internal. Let's go with this guy. That's fine. I'm between Scandi and Benelux. You're thinking Denmark. Not bad. North Korea. Diamond Sun one. <laughs> one year old and already married her off. Listen. I gave her a year. That's enough. More years are completely over the top. You, you don't... That's... What's that gonna do? How many years you need? Oh, he's finally coming. Oh, he's coming. Let's see. Can I do a poll? Okay, let me let me pause and I'm gonna do a poll. Let me pause and I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna throw up a bunch of countries and you guys are gonna vote where I'm from. Okay. Where is the emperor from? I'm gonna I'm gonna be generous. I think with Scandinavia is, is just a whole thing. Is it Scandinavia? Is it I'm also gonna be generous with Benelux. Is it the what do they call it? The DACH, I think. That's uh Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Okay, where else could I be from? I could be from France. You don't know. I could be from... Let's see, where else could I be from? Actually, I could be from here. Timbuktu. I'm not putting Timbuktu up. Okay, we got to pull. Three minutes. Let's see what chat thinks where I'm from. Ah, challenge to be househead. Uh, I could decline this. This costs me prestige. So I'm going to accept it because there are going to be options popping up which I can deal with. They think they're a better house head than me. We know that's not true, but let them have their little delusions. The music is so good here, isn't it? I had so fancy. Oh, that little place we kept fighting doesn't exist anymore. It's the perfect underlining music for the for the pole running on. Love it. I should unpause. Okay, so we could be like, no, forget it. Or we can get them to give us something like money or whatever. 
The poll will decide the fate of the universe. <laughs> the poll poll. I should instead of Poland, I should have just put Eastern Europe. I, I gave regions and for Poland, I just went with Poland. So, ah, I don't know. Oh no, he's rising in rebellion against us. I like the tooltip here. Every faction member of the same dynasty, nothing. <laughs> All right, let's rally the troops here. So he's coming in hard, but the funny thing is, if you are defending, it costs you nothing to call in your allies. Of course, your allies need to be willing, unlike that one dude who really isn't. Let's bring Egypt up here. Egypt can help. Everyone that can and wants to help will now be called in. And we actually have a decent amount of soldiers by now. I don't know if I want to call them up right there. Maybe rather in the mountains right there. Or in those mountains. Then again, no, 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 no. He has to walk further here. There's two counties, two baronies between that and there. So it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous to raise them here. I tell you that. Because his might be raised quicker than ours. And he might reach us before ours are fully raised. Okay, the poll is almost done. And he got himself some mercenaries. Ain't that cute. Alright, so 50% for Benelux. 50% for the Germany, Austria, Switzerland region. Well, it's definitely in there. I am actually German. So, well done, guys. You did it. Okay. So he's fighting someone there. That's cute. I'll wait in the mountains for him here. He can come. You knew it! Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> what gave it away? This is thing. Like the later the day it gets and the tireder I get, the more tired I get, I tend to sometimes slip in German words. Sometimes it just happens. Where what to say no, I say nine, you know, stuff like that. Um That happens. It's also the reverse. I was put under for a, a, a small medical procedure. And when the when the anesthesia took, I started speaking English. Like it switched from German into English, for some reason. Uh, the the nurses and the doctor were very amused, <laughs> apparently. So I do speak a lot of English in my in my day to day. So. I think it's fairly decent. What I'm trying to deal with is is reducing the amount of ahs and ums and whatnot. That's what I'm actively working on currently. So we're just kind of sitting around here, not doing anything. Maybe I should attack. I think he's coming to us, but I'm waiting for some allies to show up because he does have more troops than us. We could, of course... Oh, by the way, we should... not. Nah, he's doing that thing already. He is being fought by absolutely everybody. I don't know what's going on there. Why is everyone fighting him? Not that I mind. Oh, there we go, player air. He gets a good Ashari name, but what could be better than Muhammad? Let's be honest here. Our little Muhammad. And he's handsome. Yes, sir. I think we're gonna go with stewardship education, because honestly, stewardship in clan is much more powerful than Marshall. You have a hugely higher potential for more troops, I think. But then again, we have 18 knights right now. That's crazy. 18 knights is extremely powerful. Why do we have so many? So I think we're going to go for stewardship on this one. And do we find him a spouse? Like, he's zero years old. He's, he's nary a day. He fell out of the womb and he's going to get some marriage aligned. Let's see if we can get him something sensible. A cousin... Now, let's go with traits. Maybe. Nothing too old. These are a little bit too old here. Mm, 
No, okay, we're gonna wait. There might be something better being born in the future. <laughs> The title of the Az Abbasid Empire is now held by the Caliph Abdullah. Okay. Alright. A lovely idea, Abdullah, it is. No. Wait. Is that another son? Okay, that's another son. Alright, let's let him be Abdullah. That's fine. And he goes into Marshall. We need fighters. And him, we can basically immediately pawn off doesn't really matter to us i mean it should okay let's keep our boys for 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 a rainy day <laughs> for when things get bad where are our allies okay there's someone someone is coming so that's nice let's hope our enemy doesn't decide to turn around again okay our lover and wife is pregnant. Very good. We like to hear that. We like to have that. Our siege progress is very disappointing. So disappointing, in fact, that he might be quicker. Oh, he's equally as quick, so. Do we not have a siege, lad? A bad omen for a bad volley. Written in the stars. Let's give him a good omen to, for false security. No. He gets a bad omen. We want his health penalty be moderate. Ah, he sleeps his nights worrying as well he should. He's attacking his rightful liege. He never should do that. That is forbidden. Let's see calling another ally. We cannot actually. He hates us. He's of a different group in this big conflict of ours. Oh no, he has breached the walls. So that is probably going to go quicker than ours now. So breaching the walls. If there's a little ladder on the icon here, that means he can now force his troops to attack. That will incur huge losses. Even if it's just 500, uh, 590 defending like we have here. But he can push it and be quicker about the siege than we can be. Because we cannot assault the fort. We are not gonna. Even if we can. But he could end this quicker. Which will be very costly. But yeah. We're just waiting for our ally to arrive. He will have no gold of mine for sure. Let's speed this up. So right now I'm feeling secure. I'm gonna go for four speed. Ah, our wife lost her pregnancy now. So I don't see any enemy allies popping up out of nowhere. I don't see any new wars on the horizon. The city of the mouthless. Let us not tarry here. I cannot help but wonder who were these people? What is this? Avoiding dark places. Calm down, Tanin. It is the shadows and dust. Relentless skeptic. I should read a prayer just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's read a prayer here. Spooky stuff's happening. It's always good to have a little prayer at hand. Oh no, end of the road. Who died? I'm afraid, I'm afraid your brother was slain in battle. He was on the road toward Mecca. Oh no, but we inherited a drinking vessel. That is, you know, that is crazy good. Disease resistant, small both. Small both. <laughs> and we don't have, oh, we actually got two. That guy was very into Achimid drinking vessels. He had two of them. <laughs> okay, now. All right, then. I'll take it. I'm not opposed to this. <gasps> Do I see a trebuchet? How? How is anyone already there? How do we have a trebuchet? 
No. That's just the wrong... That's just the wrong animation. That's just Ona, I guess. Why do we see a trebuchet animation for that? That's crazy. Okay, very cool. So we took this place. And our allies are arriving. So we can... We can work our way towards the enemy now. Oh, no, 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 no. Smallpox is here. We'll isolate the man and pray for redemption. So we'll just go attack them and take that thing back. So the reason we took we didn't take the whole county at once is because this county has actually two keeps. So we have to take all the keeps to take the whole county. Is basically how it works. So we're only keeping a little bit of it. And we're definitely winning here. Not sure why. He does have more troops than us, but we do have some allies on our back. And he doesn't. He really had a backup cup, yep. Sometimes, you know, you really just need a backup cup. So we have a huge advantage right now, but we're still struggling in this battle, so... We are relying on allies to arrive. And there they come. Smallpox, a new day. Finally, we are safe. So, Valeriu died during the outbreak. Shame. And Yalda also, but no one else. The smallpox is much more forgiving in Crusader Kings 3 than it is in Crusader Kings 2. For sure. Okay, so nice. We beat his army. Not in a way where they, were, where they would be immediately routed. And now we're gonna go and attack... Wait, what is the other castle? Yeah, that's the other castle that we need to take to take the whole county. So if you're fighting a vassal, it could be sensible sometimes to go for a white piece. Because you already, you do get to imprison him. He doesn't become imprisoned. But it's a little bit helpful. It can be helpful. Especially if you're under threat from the outside, then it can be useful to go into an early white piece. Don't be above it. Sometimes that's the best choice. But I don't think we need that. With our allies here and everything, we're good. Okay, something just happened. We lost a counselor. And a lot of catalysts are being triggered here. What the hell is this? Okay. Let's check our war score real quick. The guy that we can ransom here doesn't bring us any war score. Yeah, I don't know what all this is. <laughs> okay, he, he imprisoned the detractor of the Caliphate. Alright, so that brings a lot. Let me just right-click all that away. Let's get rid of that. Okay, very cool. Our, our enemy is fighting right now against the Grey Army. So they're being weakened and held in place for us. So we'll just arrive there and lose because we have no commander in. How did we have no commander? Oh, ouch. Sadly, we can't put a commander in, so now we're just gonna lose our army here. Ah! Our ally is coming. Maybe they can- maybe they can save us. Yeah, our ally is saving us. Last second save. And they're just coming here, they're looking at our troops. And just very slowly they shake their head. I think it was this guy who died. Like, our marshal just died and he was the commander. So that was that. <laughs> just... What are you doing, buddy? Rule number one, always have a commander. That is correct. And never assume that you have a commander as well. I have 300 hours on this and 900 on CK2 
And still it happens to me sometimes. Unfortunately, because I didn't check. I didn't verify. I just went with my gut. I figured I knew it all. And reality came crashing in. Let's praise Allah for our allies, for our staunch defenders and supporters that help us here. Truly, we are blessed with such good, good friends on the field of battle. That was a close one. That was a close one. Should never have been that close, but... Well, sometimes it happens. Excellent. Another little alliance on the side. I will translate the Arabic myself. Scheme success chance plus 10%. Let's go. We're still trying to kill the lie, uh, to kill the guy. Even if we win, we're still going to try and kill him. He's just going to help us when he's in our dungeon. But I want to break this thing up here. I don't like this. Like, this is all his. And we're his primary heir, so he executes, we get all this back, and we can redistribute. Oh, very good. We won. So this lad, immediate execution. And look at what we didn't get. No, no, we got it. Okay. Let's see. Avsane. After... Wait. After our main spouse. That's kind of weird. So our, our... Our second wife is naming our daughter after our primary wife. Okay, now. So look at that. Look at who's back on top. We've finally broken this little annoyance up here. So now we can go ahead and throw this at our blood relatives. This is why I always keep as much land as possible in the family. Now, see, that is good in a clan rulership. It is not so good in a feudal uh, Christian area. Like, in feudalism, yeah, that can hurt you. But in clan, in a clan rulership, ah, go for it. Where is Dynasty? Are we Sassanid? I think we're Sassanid. Alright, let's go. Our uncle and steward, he gets something. He gets this, and he gets that. He gets these two. These two is what he gets. I don't know, let's, let's keep him small and, and weak. <laughs> okay, next one. Next one. Our half-brother, our cousin, our cousin, our cousin, our son. Oh, let's give... Wait, how many sons do I have at the moment? Son. Heir. Son, okay. Let's see succession here. So he would get this. Let's give him that. On title, he gets this. And now we're going to give our son a whole lot of it. Our player and son, he gets a whole lot. But first we need to find him as well. Because once he is his own ruler, though this might be different on him. But generally, if you want to give someone a spouse, uh, make sure you do that before they actually... Get their own stuff. And also we're going to personally educate him. And we're going to go ahead and find us. Oh, we can go by alliance power. That's a little cousin. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We don't care about the alliance power. But quick is nice. Ah, it's fine. We're just going to give him some titles. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't need to give him anything right now. So we're just going to give him a bunch because he has... How many can he have? I don't know. But let's give him some while he still can have them. Why can't I give you more? This, this, this. Okay, do I, have, I don't want to give him all of them. So he gets two titles. That's fine. He gets two for now. 
or does he get more? He doesn't get this for sure. That's mine. I mean, we're going to give him as many as we can. This is going to help us on succession as well. And now the last one here. That goes to... Do we have another son? Yep, we could give it to him. Sure, let's give this to him as well. Oh no, we can we can have three out of three. Okay, we'll leave it, we'll keep it, that's fine. But the power is broken up here now. Let's negotiate that alliance. Let's negotiate that alliance. And let's negotiate that alliance. Where is my son? Where did he put... Where is... My son and heir, can you please also come and have an alliance with us? So the greatest threat within our kingdom for the past, I don't know, 20 decades? No, two decades? That's not how decades work. <laughs> for the past two decades is banished. We've broken this little fool up inside of our realm. That's very good. And we're still looking to get 750 gold so we can form our kingdom. So we're saving the monies. And we're going to put this guy to train our commanders now. Because we're currently not at war or anything. How's our development looking? Not good, I can tell you that. Like we're slowly coming out of the red, but... We are nowhere near yellow, what we want to be. So it is what it is. Let's chop around a little bit for some more expansion. Oh, this guy is weak as heck. So we could conquer a county there. 65 prestige, uh, piety, I mean. And this shike is... Okay, he's outside, so he's going to actually come. But we have enough soldiery. Oh, we're getting strong at the moment. Let's let's fill this up. Up there. Let's check our tax collection here. We're, we're still not getting a lot out of our vassals. So the main power that we are getting is actually from our own domain. Interesting. Okay. Hit and run, retreat losses, heavy infantry damage, all that is good because we have a bunch of those people. So definitely we're going to go there. The rest we're going to take because we really have no other way if we want to go down to strategist. We don't have to. We don't have to fill out the strategist tree. It's just this kind of completionist tick I have where I feel like, oh yeah, I should do that. Okay, our archers can be stationed again. So station them we shall. We should also upgrade our troops. We're earning good money, so we can increase the size here. Let's do that. So we spent a good amount of money to increase our size in armies, but I think it's worthwhile. I'll have to wait a little longer now. Save up again, but that's okay. That's okay. Better prepare that army for the Crusades. <laughs> Ah, the Crusades are not going to touch us. The Crusades are coming for Jerusalem and all that nonsense. They are never going to reach here. I don't think. But I won't decry it. I'm not going to be like, oh, we're safe here. Why are you so weak? And why am I so strong? Let's go. We'll take some of her. I mean, it's going to be de jour ours anyway. Let's take her down a peg. Well, she has no allies. I mean, we already have a flag there. Let's just use the flag we already have and move this back where it belongs. Okay, I think we're gonna seek battle immediately if we can. And ensure that we have a commander. Oh. Oh, she was just beaten somewhere. So that's kind of bad for her. Will this guy be better? No. Let's personally lead. 
Though that can be a bad idea. Can be a bad idea. Always a good chance that we die. We have a mercenary contract. Oh, that's why we have so many troops. I'm not going to prolong that. That's not my contract, mind. Like, that was a pre-existing contract. I just took that over when I inherited stuff. That can sometimes happen. Let's put this guy to organize our army so we don't lose so much money. I'm not extending that. Sound the defeated him. Immediately jump to full 50%. We can't get more out of battle. So all we need to do now is win some sieges here. So we're going to speed up to four. I don't think anyone from the outside is going to attack us. I might be wrong. Might be wrong. Always a good chance I'm wrong. But so far we have had fairly decent success with being left alone. <laughs> so they are coming to attack us. They have nothing else to do. Standing around won't win it. And we can't gain anything out of killing them except for potentially taking prisoners. And we have another daughter. A little Argavan. Oh, she's intelligent. Oh, that means matrilineal marriage. And we could pair her off to someone with another good thing. Shike them of something something. Where are they? They are not our vassal, so... We're just gonna go with our brother-in-law. That's a good one. Money and fame? Money and fame are always good. I feel like I had a train of thought that might have been ended with money and fame or big brain, but... My brain is not big enough to put those two and two together again. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, of course you accept the betrothal. It's a good betrothal. It's to my daughter. Do not know. So they are being attacked currently from other sides as well. So that's really bad for them. I'm sorry. And I completely crushed their army. So they have nothing left. Whoops. These kind of things, they sometimes, you know, they happen. Our little boy here becomes rowdy. Wait a moment. Why am I not educating you anymore? Did you uneducate yourself from me? Come on, I will educate you. Actually, I will educate all my boys. There's another boy here that needs educating. I don't want them to become things that I don't want them to become. So we took what we came to take and there we go, 100%. Let's enforce. Disband. Got some more stuff. Which we can then give away to more family. Let's see, our half-brother? I mean, sure, why not? Let's just give it to our half-brother. And let's negotiate that alliance. Nope. Okay, I'm not that strong anymore because we lost our mercenaries. Okay, now let's see if we can't get these people to join our side as well. I feel like once we have an alliance, we can't get that changed anymore. That's weird. Why can I only ask them to change their side? Or do they switch it over? It looks like they might be switching it over. Okay. Nice. So we took a piece out of her. I want to fight these guys again, but they are a little bit too strong for us. But then again... We have some claims here, actually. One. And we do have the allies and the money to do it. We could go for the whole duchy as well. Like, that's... That's a big win for very little. And they have no help for their, uh, for their Alevi face. 
Like, there's no one coming to help them. Who's their ally? Who's that? Where is that? Okay, that's down there. So if we can get our allies in here, we should be perfectly fine to win this. Should we do it? Welcome back, Ahsoka. Chat. Okay, we're going to do a poll. This is going to be a chat poll. New poll. Should we start this holy war? Yes. No. All right. Two minute. Two minute timer. They are a levy. And there is only one bit of Alevianism around. And they have been conquered recently. So no one's coming. They are entirely alone. No one and nothing is coming for them. Vote in the poll. Wait, did I, did I start? Yeah, poll is running. Everyone, chat decides if we go and take that holy war. And while chat decides, I will get some water. Gotta hydrate. Nah, I don't. I don't really. I don't really spend time on converting. Especially, well, I couldn't. These guys, they had a contract negotiated where I couldn't convert them, so now they're gonna be converted automatically by my vassals. I don't need to spend time on that. Personally, I like it if there's a little bit of a discontent because sometimes you get a nice little rebellion out of it. But overall. Ahsoka is right, of course, if you want to get the most out of your holdings, make sure the religion and culture and everything is kind of aligned. That way you get the most that you can get out of these things. So, looking good, looking good. Oh, one of our alliances expired. But was it a good alliance? I... Not a bad alliance. Not a bad alliance. Voting is almost over, chat. Cast your vote now. Do we attack Pashangid? And unify our realm. And it's a 50-50. 50% for yes, 50% for no. Now what do we do? Now what do we do? That's crazy. You would have voted yes. Why didn't you then? Vote was up. <laughs> Let's redo it. I mean, all right, we have to go in a second round. That's uh, that's actually yeah. Mm -hmm. Declare war on yourself, you guess. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're watching like ten streams at once. I wish I could still do multitasking like that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try again. Do we start that holy war? Question mark. And we're gonna live only a minute. A minute will be enough. Yes. No. One minute. Let's go. Let's see what chat says this time. Maybe Ahsoka can focus on this stream for a second. <laughs> Cast that vote. How do you even watch 10 stream at a time? Like, how does that how does it work? On a emotional and intellectual level. I can barely keep up with my own stream. How do you keep up with 10 streams for different streamers where there are also chats ongoing and stuff, I assume. That's crazy. You people. Chat con continues to impress me. Asperger's, okay. <laughs> it's your secret weapon. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I think I have only like slight ADHD, so it doesn't really help me. I just get distracted all the time. These streams, actually, the streams are helping me. Okay. 
Do we start that holy war was the question. And we have a 71% for no now. 71% for no. Clear winner. So, no. Apparently chat doesn't want to start that holy war. <laughs> Did you vote for the wrong thing? <laughs> well, my hands are bound. Ch chat voted. We're not doing anything here. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Diamond Sun won decided for peace. And peace he shall have. Or they. Don't mean to sue. Okay, let's let's shop around <laughs> for some olive wars then. Uh, Shaik them of Kum. Could do this. I mean, it's a chunky prize up there. Yeah, but it's a, it's a silly claim. Uh, let's check. Let's just check on the wars that we could declare. What what wars do we have here? Ah, uh, we could we could take a chunk out of Armenia. They are weak. But, I mean, look at that. That is... That is something here. That is a chunky chunk. A chunky chunk. Only problem is they only the apo ap apostolic. What would install loyalists do? Okay, very good question. So down here in the Iranian intermezzo, we basically every character gets a choice between supporting the caliph or being against the caliph. And if we install a supporter for the caliph, then we throw points in the stabilization bucket, basically. So if we look at this, important character becomes a supporter of the caliph. Win a war started against another involved ruler. So you already get the 25 for that. And if we start another uh, of same tier or high, we get 10 or something. And if we do that, then we get a new supporter. So we add points into the stabilization thing. I said we do concession. Now nah, we're working on stabilization. We're we're on the stabilization unrest thing. We we don't want the concession. This keeps it going, and it's fun. I don't know what happens when it ends. <laughs> I mean, eventually it's gonna go there because this doesn't reset between phases. So eventually, there will be a concession ending, and then there will be one of these endings basically. There will be an Abbasid humiliation, a renewed caliphate, or Iranian resurgence. One of these. I don't know. But we have been bonking around between unrest and stabi uh, stabilization, stability, something like that. I think we're gonna go and attack the Christians here. I want a holy war. Apostolic rulers might join, but they are none. And they have a no troops. They they will get potentially they will get some mercenaries. But look at that. Principality of Hike. We can eat them. That is one, two, three, four, five counties. That's that's big. Let's go. And we're gonna call in some allies. How many daughters have we gotten? Great question. We have one, two, three daughters at the moment. One of which does not have yet a spouse, nor an education focus. So let's... We need more stewards in the realm. We have very few very good stewards. So... We'll leave a few open, just in case we really need someone. Oh, 
Herculean would be good. Oh yeah, it always is. Okay, these are definitely mercenaries. If there's suddenly a 700 something army popping up, rest assured it's mercenaries. You do EN. Are you okay? Are you having a stroke? Do you need help? I don't know where to send help, but we're happy to try. We have a son. He will be an Ismail. Do we have Onagas? We have uh, no Onagas. We need to become a king so we can get some more stuff. So, no. No siege weapon yet. None of that. Let's get some... Let's get some diplomacy in that boy. And let's get some inheritable traits. It's already filtered for it. Let's see. It's all kind of small, but we're going to get the rebuffs in if we can. So I'm a little bit arrogant at the moment. I feel like, okay, we, we got all we need. We're powerful. I don't need alliances anymore. We have become ill. Let's get us a court physician. Why don't I just appoint one? And we'll put in our Mufti, who's good. Anyway, and we're going to get an antiquarian as well. Even if they're terrible, that's better than none. You want to increase the kingdom thing, the crown thing. Us ladies enjoy CK3. Aye. I know at least one other lady beside you, Fusionary, who does. Well, two, actually. Ahsoka, you, and another one. It's crazy. Now, Bila's, I, I think it's it's because it's it's giving that violent homemaking feeling, you know. <laughs> Husband tr mistreating you? Well, off with their head. That's a good thing. I do not recruit anyone as my court physician. I don't need to. I already put one in. It's all good. So I'm a little bit worried about the tax jurisdiction, though. We can only have 11, we can only have 12 taxpayers in this. And I don't think I can have another one because as a duke we can only have one. And we have no technology yet that will change that. I don't know where he went with his armies, but I feel like... No. Nope. I was thinking maybe as another war. We're gonna go for king? Yes, we're gonna go for king. That's what we're currently working on, sort of. We have to save up to 750 gold, so we can create the duchy that we need for 250, and then we can immediately create the kingdom for 500. Otherwise, we might break apart on succession, so we're not going to do that. That's our current plan. We want to create our little kingdom here. Ooh, we inherited something. What and where? Kapan. I mean, that's not great. That's not a great place. Let's give it to someone. Our son. Our freshly generated, created son. You can have that. Oh, that's not a city, that's a castle, but it's, it's kind of terrible. We'll have to, we'll have a lot to grant in a moment anyway. Let's see, where are our allies? Allies are coming. Ooh, in full force too, that's nice. Let's speed up a little bit because we're waiting for allies and siege to be over, so. Yep, we will. Ahsoka believes in the victory that we are so diligently working on right now. Like it. Another daughter for us. Imagine we give one to our oldest daughter or cousin. If we could, but we cannot. Because this is uh, male-dominated. We cannot give titles to girls. Which I think is an atrocity. An affront. So we're kind of moving in here now. And 
banking on the fact that our ally comes, which they are not. But we are still scaring off our enemy? Why our ally is not coming? And we have inherited another thing. What? What have we inherited? Huh? What what did I inherit? I inherited a lot actually, but what and where? Oh there. Okay. So we got to give Ganja away. Yep. Uh we got the we got the temple and the castle. So who do we give that to? Half brother. And someone else's marshal. Let's see, some of all skills. You could go for content and stuff like that, but since we can negotiate alliances with our with our lads here, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's give it to him. Why not? He can have the whole thing. And we already have an alliance with him. Interesting. I don't know why they're not attacking us. They could. But maybe they're going to go try and re-siege what we took. And then our allies are definitely going to pile on him. So, I don't mind. That's fine. Oh no, he's attacking at home. That is not fine. That is decidedly the opposite of fine. How did we get so much gold? Oh, inheritance. Oh, yes. Money. So, this doesn't help us much. This doesn't help us much. This will help us a little bit. This helps us most. So we go through this and then to envelopment. That is the next best thing here. Unrest phase is in transition. So we're coming to stabilization. Interesting. Our allies are staying pretty far away from us. Usually they try and stick close. And do what we do, but... So we're running into a battle that we are... Poised to lose. But since we have allies coming, and actually we're quite handsomely winning even without our allies. I don't know what that was about. Not sure why we had that message that we would be losing. But I was willing to bet that our allies would approach and arrive in time to bail us out. And we're already almost done with our little war here. So more titles to throw at our family. And we have 700 gold, so we're only 50 gold away from creating our little kingdom. Which is nice. Now let's see if our allies will pursue the enemy. They might just. Which honestly, let me see. Oh yeah, might be a good idea. That will finish the war for us. If we just fight them, win again, that'll finish the war. Question is, of course, where will he go? Okay. Trying to take back what we took from him. Fair enough. You have insulted me gravely. Who are you? You. Okay, I don't actually want beef with you. We voted for peace with you. But then again, if he attacks us, you know... It's a pain. Sorry, my boy insulted you. Don't be so thin-skinned. I don't understand the calculation for this. We are beating them. No problem. Every single time. And there we go. 100% it. Big chunk out of Christian lands. A big chunk. Big chunk. So I see... This here is mine. Okay, alright. 
So let's grant him a little bit more land. He gets this. Let's grant him a little bit more land. Wait. Let's negotiate that alliance. I got a duchy title. Wait. No, I didn't. I think the duchy title exists. I can usurp it. Which costs 250 gold. So we're 50 gold away from what we need, so we're not going to usurp it that. But that would have been cool. That would have been cool. That would have helped. Okay, we got that alliance going, so let's give this kid another land piece. And now let's see. Can't we give our vassal an heir some more? Okay, so no, he doesn't stand to inherit any of these, so he can't have it. So we're going to give some of these smaller ones that we already have alliances with. Some of this stuff. Keeping in mind our taxation thing. Like we can have one... No, we can have no more taxpayers. So we have to kind of spread it around with these guys now. So... This guy is just dynasty. I don't like that. Dynasty is not enough for me. I want direct blood relations. That's who gets titles now. So let's spread it around some more. This guy already has a lot. And he's not even a blood relative. Yeah, he is. That's my son. <laughs> what are you? You're nothing. You don't deserve to be in my kingdom. <laughs> In my soon-to-be kingdom, let's be honest. Okay, this thing fell apart a little bit as well. And we can press that uh, claim on Kuhn. That's pretty good. So who else can we give something to? You have... These two already. What are you to me? My son. Ah, fine. Okay. He gets to be kind of strong. Very good, very good. So here we could go and convert. Here it could help. Here it could actually help. So let's throw him at that. Let's do that. What about two accounts? Just look for account. Yeah, sorry. I didn't read that. I, I wanted to give it to my direct... My direct children. Average. He can do that. Average is enough for me at this point in time. Alright, I should totally end the YouTube recording. We have been going on for a good while. We are growing. We're getting there. We need only 47 more gold to form our kingdom. So, if you're watching this over and you've been thinking so very much for doing so, check out the Twitch as well. We stream twice a week for Crusader Kings 3, which is what you then watch over on the YouTubes. And if you're watching over on Twitch, say hi to YouTube and we're going to keep going. Bye, YouTube.